Hey everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to the Music Factory Studios. Today I want to talk to you about Linux. Again, I know, I know, I thought this was a music channel. Hey man, I dig computer operating systems because guess what? They're the tape machine of the 21st century. So, and I remember tape machines. So I'm, I'm, I'm always looking at technology. Windows will probably be, and this is the truth, will be a Linux operating system. So it's probably best, uh, Windows 11, the next version of Windows, will probably be a Linux-based operating system. So what is actually going to happen is a lot of these things you see in, in, in operating systems like Ubuntu, Fedora, uh, Arch, are going to make their way over to Windows. Now, this is the newest beta version of Ubuntu's 19.10. And I have to say, first off, it's the fastest booting operating system from a hard drive I have ever seen. I mean, nothing compares to this. Mac OS is pretty fast on NVMe drives. Windows is pretty fast with their fast boot thing. But this is just, I, I mean, it's instantaneous almost. It's like power button, boom. Do you want to open Ubuntu or Windows? It's like, really? <laughs> Shockingly fast. And this machine is nothing special. So I'm going to show you the machine specs here. Um, it's a HP Pavilion gaming laptop. It's running kernel 5.3. And uh, this is GNOME 3.34 uh, Ubuntu 19.10. It has 16 gigs of RAM. It has an i5-8300H, which is a quad core with hyper threading. So eight threads. It has a NVIDIA 1050 Ti and uh, an NVMe drive as a boot drive and a 500 gig like uh, SATA 3 SSD as a storage drive. And I have to say, it's really, really great. Um, now, as far as a, an operating system that, that, that is powerful, Ubuntu is, is it. As far as being able to boot Linux systems on this machine, I, the only operating systems I've had any luck with were the, the base regular version of Ubuntu, this version of Ubuntu, uh, 1904 and 18, uh, whatever it is were able to boot the regular Ubuntu desktop using GNOME. The uh, Ubuntu Budgie wouldn't, would not uh, boot. The XFCE Zubuntu wouldn't boot. Um, did I say Budgie? Yeah, Budgie was, wouldn't boot. Kubuntu would not boot. Lubuntu, the LXQT version, would boot. I had issues with Arch, Manjaro, um, and uh, other easy to install versions of Arch. I just did quotations in the air for anybody like <laughs> the easily installed versions of Arch. All would boot, but eventually they would go to sleep even if you had it turned off and then it would never boot back into the OS. It was the weirdest thing. Pop OS would boot, but the problem with Pop OS is the screen would flip. And even if you did like Alt F2 and R, it wouldn't flip back over so you would you would log out log back in it would still be turned into portrait mode so you would restart the machine come back still in portrait mode it just it, it was weird I, i've never seen anything like that and i really like pop os i run it on two other machines but regular ubuntu worked perfectly fine even with extensions like dash to panel dash to dock or any of that kind of stuff um but i'm on 19 19.10 i'm actually using dash to dock as one of my extensions here even though it shows it's off it's it's working because i've got the uh the little launcher button at the top through that extension and you know the but uh, the ubuntu was the only uh, really the only distro that would really boot for me other than solus solus will boot just about on anything it's just hard to dual boot solus with windows just because of the way their their bootloader and you know, it works, they don't use Grub like everybody else does, which is so odd to me. But I have to say that the features inside of Ubuntu 19.10 are pretty cool. You can take 
and move things into little files or little little folders in the launcher kind of like you can on launchpad on a mac which is really handy actually especially like if you download and use google chrome let's say and you have a bunch of the google chrome apps it would be nice to just stuff them all in a folder because nobody ever really uses those unless they're on a chromebook anyway so there's no real need for them to be taking up all the launcher space but it launches smoothly one thing i wanted to see because i i, I always think it, it launches kind of too fast is let's see if cover flow is here yes let's see if cover flow will install i'll go in here and set it the same way i always set it i like the timeline and i like that boom now one more that i really like is impatience the impatience come on you can do it i believe in you that's because i'm screen recording but uh, uh it doesn't want to find it there or did we completely lock up here no we're still working let's check uh h top make sure everything's okay here um yeah everything looks sort of fine kind of weird that that extension isn't there it may not be ready though okay which is which is fine um but i like to slow down the animations even more for some reason sometimes staring at them in the dark um when they bounce around so quickly is kind of disconcerting to me uh, it makes me a little uh, queasy <laughs> just to be honest with you it makes my stomach a little queasy so i like to slow down the animations that's just me but uh so far everything i've tried to install except impatience has worked granted i've only installed dash to dock and uh cover flow so let's open the tweaks and files app and let's go alt tab nothing wow interesting that that's not working okay have we changed the key command from alt tab which has been alt tab on every os for i don't know well over 20 years now yeah it's not working okay so i thought well, I might as well put an ending to this video, but um, actually the screen recording stopped right at the end here while I was doing the review and it crashed the whole system. That's beta software, guys. That's how it goes. But I will say this. If nothing else, the coolest part of the new 1910 Ubuntu is the boot time. The boot time is insane. I mean, it's it's the fastest boot I've ever seen on any machine. So if you want to check it out before warned, it could crash. Um, it ran really well for a few hours for me. And then, boom, while I was screen recording, it crashed. But I was able to save the file and bring it into Filmora here to edit for you guys. So if you enjoyed this video and this look at uh either gnome 3.34 or ubuntu 1910 give this video a like subscribe i'm gonna do the rest of the ubuntu betas or i'm gonna try to i won't promise anything because life gets in the way sometimes but i'm gonna try to i'm downloading them all right now to try them out and uh all right guys and gals have a great day y'all and we'll see you next time